えー、パタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイパタイ And、uh, grew up around a lot of very delicious Thai food. I miss it a lot in Japan, but you know, I always try to make it when I can. We just managed to find this video from Epicurious called The Four Levels of Pad Thai Amateur、so. to Food Science. Okay, Chef King probably <laughs> will join us. Anyway, if you want to see more reactions like this and more cooking videos, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And let's get on with the video. Let's watch. Pad Thai. King's hands, maybe. King's hands, yeah, must be King. Hi, I'm Natasha. Oh, I'm different person. Hi, I'm King. Ah, hi, King. I'm 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 I love fish sauce. Yeah, fish sauce is most important. Saltiness and umami to the、mm -hmm. dish. I'm vegetarian, so my substitute version is a mix of vegetarian fish sauce and、oh, okay. mountain seasoning. Vegetarian fish sauce. From the tamarind paste. No fish. No fish. No umami. Rice vinegar. Chili garlic sauce. Beautiful. And then I'm doing the juice of a lime.、Mm -hmm. It's already starting to smell. Like what、Ready? you smell on a pad thai dish. So、mm. that, that gives me hope that, that I'm getting this right.、Ooh. Smelling like pad thai. I got everything in there. I can smell that fish sauce. I can smell the tamarind, the palm sugar, the oyster、oh. sauce, and they're kind of all coming together. There's the base for our pad thai. Now I'm going to start preparing my noodles. The main ingredient、mm -hmm. to pad thai, a stir fry noodle dish, are noodles. Yes.、Oh, Every、yeah. rice noodle packet has、oh, slightly different, different instructions. Different You'll、brand. need to make up your own rules. Oh, they're、so、very cheap. It looks very cheap. Trouble opening packages for some reason. <laughs> He holds the scissors quite interestingly. Okay, them. Oh, but this is not for pad thai. Noodles. Oh, this one is okay. Completely submerge the noodles、wow. in cold water. As they soften, you can just continue to push them in. So I'm gonna let these soak for about 10 to 20 minutes. Taiwan beef. So、uh, that's not really a <laughs> pad thai noodle. That's actually Taiwan beef, which we use to make、uh, stir-fried Taiwanese noodles. Not the Thai food, Thai food. Okay. Uh, and uh, they're much thinner, so the texture is、oh. a little bit different when you make pad thai with those noodles. You want the、mm. wide and flat noodles for pad thai, because that's just how it's done. That was more like noodle so man, like Japanese、yeah. or sea noodle. And I think in Japan you can get it too, right? Beef.、Mm. Mm. Like a beef, yeah. Yes. Our protein. For my protein, I'm going to be using tofu. Right、oh, now,、tofu. I'm going to cut the tofu into cubes and、Very、then I'll add some seasoning later. Very firm tofu. You want everything to fit kind of in、oh. your chopstick or on your fork. Let's add the tofu. Yes, this kind is actually better. I'll cut it separately、mm. so it gets crispy and it won't break up when I mix it in with the noodles. The tofu is all cut. Here's our diced tofu. So I'm making a chicken pad thai, and as you can see, I have some bones. Oh, oh fingers, fingers! Here, I'm gonna cut <laughs> like them into small bite-sized pieces. Oh, tofu pad thai is okay. I mean, if you're vegetarian, sure, go for it. But for me, chicken always trumps tofu any day of the week. And then liberally, the shrimp is also very good. In part two. Next up, our sausage. We're just gonna cut them off the bias. <laughs> Meaning,、uh, very、amazing. interesting addition.、Mm. Keeping them uniform. I wish these prawns were Whoa, very alive, big. But they're not. <laughs>、wow. okay, so we're gonna twist the head off. I'm gonna take off the shell right now. 
almost as if you were cleaning a shrimp. We're, we're doing the same method, just these are just larger. When you want to dive into a bowl of noodles, right? you don't want to floor. I'm not you sure where the shrimp anything. is from. Ooh. Just want to get in there, dig into those noodles, and go right into your mouth. But we are going to keep one. We're going to keep this guy deep. <laughs> right. We're going to take uh, this out here, and now he's clean. Two things you could do here. We can leave this hole like this. I have a big mouth, so I, I, probably, <laughs> I can probably eat this in one shot. It'll also cook well if it stays intact, so my preference is to leave it whole. I'm going to make a slice here that'll kind of keep it from curling up into a little ball. The proteins are prepped, and now we're going to move on to our additional ingredients. A lot of so protein. Mm -hmm. chicken, I also have a bunch of veggies. I'm going to chop my green onions. Garlic mm -hmm. chives. Scallions. Garlic scallions, yes. Nice and thin. Garlic. Garlic. Shallots. Let's cut them in half. <laughs> Probably should have done this last. Yeah. Beans sprouts. Ready to go, so no chopping there. Eggs. Eggs. I'm going to julienne the carrot to my best ability. I don't know if carrot is traditionally in pad thai, but I like having carrot because it's a little bit sweet, so it complements the sweetness Ooh. in the sauce. And now for some red bell pepper. Red. Mm. A pretty cool <laughs> thin slice. I want this to is a not a crunch, usual but I also wanted to make it cook and not raw. I'm going to chop the peanuts. Half of the peanuts, the peanuts will be cooked yeah. in with yes. the pad thai and then half will be topping. You just need to rough chop them so they're not all whole. Ba -ba -da -ba. Pickle radish. Yes, I love cooking, but for some reason I don't like opening cans. Do you want me to cook anything? I'll cook your shoe. I just can't open a can. I'm doing it. <laughs> Why? Okay. Boom. Okay. It's time to cook. First up, I'm going to drain these noodles. These rice noodles are so easy to work with. Whoa. Whoa. So much. Oh, she made too much, I think. We're about to start cooking our <laughs> like pad last time, level two. should be when you're cooking. You gotta have everything Lorenzo? in front of you ready to go. Uh, Lorenzo made a lot, oil, didn't he? Uh, vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Do not use olive oil. That yes. Low smoking point. That's low very burning. correct, King. We don't want that mm. flavor in our food. Not in this dish. Garlic. Yeah, I like that. I like that sound. Shallots. Shallots. So I think King is only uncomfortable with dumpling. You see the other stuff? food yeah, all looks okay. <laughs> okay, dumpling, no, no okay, dumpling. Smell, not yet. Soon you will, but I can smell it. And already it smells like victory. Drop in a little peanut oil. Let that get nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Toss the chicken here. So much chicken. Mm. Gonna saute oh. the chicken three to five minutes. Make sure it's fully cooked through, and then add in my veggies. I'm just going to add this carefully to splatter. Mm -hmm. I'm sprinkling just a little bit of salt over the tofu to season it. So I'm going to crisp the tofu on all sides and then set it aside. And then I'll prepare the noodles. Mm. It's looking good, starting to get golden. I always feel impatient doing this part because I want to stir it. But I need to just let it crisp. That's and if right. I over stir it, it breaks them. Mm. When I first and started it sticks eating if you tofu, stir too early. I didn't like it, and that's because I didn't have it seasoned properly. I really love tofu. So the tofu is all done. Mm -hmm. It's golden on all sides. It's firmed up, and it's pretty crispy. Our sausage is in there. It's mixed with the garlic. As that sausage oh. is cooking, it's rendering out the fat. The fat is coming mm -hmm. out of that sausage. And now we have oil that's flavored sausage. with garlic. You can use the sausage for like, it looks like a fried rice recipe. Well, we can eat mm. this right here. You can see it crisping already on the edge, the sausage, right? That's a very good sign. Looking good, smelling good, feeling good. I'm gonna go in so with good. these prawns. Now yeah, it's talking to me. Feel yeah. that oil coming out, the, the moisture feet. hits the oil. Back, King, back, I enjoy the load this time. But uh, the, the prawns. prawns are so big, he only put two. <laughs> We're gonna turn this guy to the other side. Let's get our tofu. Oh, here. look at this. He's a face. Really <laughs> He's much more excited about this yeah. dish, I think. We wanna get that, the prawns I think cooked, he loves Thai food. I'm just gonna put all my veggies in right on top of the chicken. My bean sprouts. Mm. Uh, I think too early Red to put bean sprouts. Now I'm just gonna let this cook through for a few minutes. Let the veggies get soft. Not too soft though. I don't want the veggies overcooked. Once the red bell pepper starts to wilt, that's the level of cook that I want. I'm going to add the shallots and garlic, mm -hmm. carrots, okay. chili flakes. I'm mixing it and then cooking it until the garlic starts to brown slightly. 
Now let's talk about scallions. We'll get scallions mm -hmm. in there. Let's get in our pickled radish in there. Ooh, I love it. Look at this already. It's better than level one. Yep. I think King will wow. win this one. Mm. I'm loving this. Look at the beans. Ah, put all the beans. Ah. We'll get more <laughs> later. Right? Okay, He's very happy eggs. today. <laughs> and then cook them right in the center. Beautiful. And the egg cooks quick, so you definitely want to move it around quickly in there. And now that my egg is cooked, I'm going to go and incorporate it into the rest of the ingredients. Mm. want to make sure everything's nice <laughs> really and distributed. Messy. Really work that egg around the entire pan. I think because there's too much stuff in the uh, pan. But you can eyeball it. Oh, so low. Oh, not, like not too much. Oh, this this is salt. beef. Last but not least. Yeah. Sauce. Thai sauce. Tongs are your friends. No, the um, Thai. Especially working with noodles like these. They're Not so the thin. I just want to make sure all that good Looks like Taiwanese food. Up just <laughs> with these really noodles. This is Taiwanese noodles. beef, right? Yeah. The rice noodles are so thai thai really soaks in all that great juice from the sauce. So the garlic has cooked down a little bit. I'm going to add the sauce. And then the noodles. Oh, I think noodles. Just one handful is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she enters. This part you have to watch very carefully. She's you make very sure calm. Mm. Absorb all of the <laughs> yeah. sauce. Slowly. And this is where I'm going to switch to because it gets easier with the noodles. We're only halfway through this thing. I love it. I love how it looks. Look at those colors. Everything's in there, right? You know who's not in there yet? Our noodles. Do you drain the noodles? Nah, we don't need to drain the noodles. They drain right in the pan. Oh, we need some moisture mm. in there. Yeah, Maybe that's more. right. Mm, this is uh, a hot tie noodle. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. See, this amount is, I think, just right. <laughs> now we're going to go in with our sauce. No need a uh, lot of much. Mm. Fish sauce. I love fish sauce. I probably said that a couple of times. I love fish sauce. Fish sauce, which is my favorite. I love fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. <laughs> How many times? Yeah. Equals winner. <laughs> <laughs> I think he can drink. <laughs> like as a drink? Yeah. <laughs> crack, crack, bang. Basically, we're going to incorporate that egg mm. in there. I like how it's coming together. Look at that. You know what it, it, I'm looking for also? These pickles. I love these pickles. A little bit of sour in there, right? We're mm. almost there, but we still have to cook this prawn, and we're not going to throw them in there. So we're going to deep fry this prawn. Whoa, we have fancy. Oil hot in about <laughs> 350. Deep fry. We're just going to coat it with a little uh, wandra flour. We're going in. Okay. Basically, Normally, if you don't have time, you don't have to do that. Covered <laughs> by that hot oil. Whoa. Look at that prawn. We are almost really there. big. <laughs> J for jumbo. That's a big ass prawn. <laughs> Another way I can tell it's almost done, the sizzling has reduced, meaning that the moisture is out. Not all the moisture, but most of that moisture is out. It's telling me, he's like, okay, I'm done. Don't forget about mm -hmm. me. Don't overcook me. It's very me. big. And I do not want to overcook you, baby. Let me get you out of there. Now I'm just going to season it with a little salt, and get it while it's hot. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is to it. Deep fried prawn, ready for our pot So I'm going <laughs> to push the noodles to the side, up onto the wall of the wok. And then I'm gonna let the eggs fry. Scramble them a little bit here. Then I'm putting the noodles on top of the eggs like this. Mm -hmm. Stir it all together. Add in I think she's the so weak. garlic chives, bean <laughs> so sprouts, weak. and then or just so, so the weak. second half of peanuts. You could eat <laughs> slowly. Yeah. So with the residual heat. Just fold the noodles in with the bean sprouts so the bean sprouts can cook. I'm going to make an omelet. Ah, and we're he's going to fold it in the omelet. Oh. It's our omelet. It's good, yeah. We'll season with our it's fish it. sauce. Thank you. Think of it as a liquid salt with a lot more punch in it. Ooh. Non stick pan. Oh, pad thai looks amazing. Hmm. Ooh. A banana leaf. <laughs> Here's our pad thai uh, wrapped in our beautiful egg on top of a banana leaf. There's some oil with the omelet, so this will pick up some of that oil. It's just a nice backdrop mm, to have. But in here, here is okay. It reminds mm. me of Thailand. There's our pad thai. We're still not done yet. So now it's time to plate this up. I'm Crazy. sure there's like some chefy way to get them out. I don't know what it is. Mm. <laughs> this is very beef. Make sure there's no egg. no green. <laughs> My favorite. Rip some fresh cilantro. 
but he said to her he loved hot types. But this is a simple version, right? No hot type, right? Scallions in there. Mm. Okay, we'll right over the top of the peanuts. Just on the side. Mm, yes. And just to make it pretty. This is oh, more this like butter. Like <laughs> yeah. And then one lime wedge on the side. Squeeze it right over. Wow, very <laughs> messy. Just a little bit on this here. And this is very fancy pot right thai. Like uh, that. That's the pot thai. This is what I'm talking about. Our pot thai is done. Oh. This is my pad thai. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like. <laughs> this is my pad thai. This one looks like pad thai. This, way, yeah. this is my pad thai. This one really pad thai, <laughs> but fancy. Okay, fancy pad thai. Yeah. Nobody. Now it's time to taste. Nobody Bongo. taste the others. Mm. They should oh, all God. taste each other's. Oh, it's so good. How would you taste pad thai? Maybe different times to shoot. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. For a simple modified version of pad thai, I'm very happy with how this came out. I like oh. having this dish when I know I'm going to be drinking, and I like having it when I'm hungover as well. <laughs> mm, hungover. Everything is in there. I get sweetness from the sausage, I get the heat from the, the fresh Ooh, chilies, the big yeah, jalapenos, that yeah. tofu's in there. But right really, that's the what the magic quite nice. of pad thai mm. is. There's so Maybe many flavors and well. elements and oh, textures going on. Oh, we could try it that way. Yeah. I don't even get to the crispy fried prawn. Look, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, big. Oh, Looks yeah. good. Ah, yes. The inside of the head's really tasty. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pad Thai, baby. Okay. Pad Thai is a plate of ah, <laughs> Finish it. Yes, Rose, we'll listen to you when we need to learn the science about Pad Thai. Mm, the time to learn, yeah. But yeah, I think level two and level three did really well today. Yes, so. And uh, level one is, I think, if you are not sure what you have in your cupboard and you're sort of wanting to make a simple dish, mm. that would be okay. But two and three, I think, did a really good job. Mm -hmm. uh, two pad thai is, looks like more pad thai yes. than level three. And uh, she said she was vegetarian, but of course mm. you can make pad thai with shrimp and chicken, mm. pork as well. Those are very normal. And uh, if you want to class it up a bit, there's also crab. Crab pad thai is really good. And the king introduced a banana leaf. Yes. I is, think. It, is it normal? Uh, no, usually we just use plastic plates <laughs> in Thailand. <laughs> I have never seen the pad thai, banana leaf in Thailand, I think. But I think normally we don't eat pad thai at a very like high class restaurant. Mm. So I think King made a very sort ah. of high class restaurant kind of pad thai. Maybe King was grew up in the rich family. <laughs> so for us, it's more like a street food or a food court kind of dish where it would just be served on like a plastic mm. platter and you, they give you like metal forks and <laughs> spoons and <laughs> you sort of have to season the rest yourself. But yeah. Next time we will make Thai food. Ah. Anyway, if you want to see us make more food like this and mm. Thai food even, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you next time. All right. Sayonara. Bye bye. Some cheap restaurant mm. used a beef for pad thai. I've never seen a 